Hoogle Horse, a small but sturdy mountain breed, is a true gem that originated in the Carpathian Mountains in Eastern Europe. For centuries, these horses have been an integral part of the local culture and have played a vital role in the daily lives of the people who live in these remote areas. Hoogle Horses are a small to medium sized breed of horse with an average height of around 13 to 14 hands, or 52 to 56 inches at the withers. However, they are known for their strength and muscular build, which makes them able to carry heavier weights than their size might suggest. Hukul ponies are usually calm with a good disposition and are used for both hacking and pulling timber in otherwise inaccessible forested areas. They are usually bay, black, chestnut, or the grulo variation of dun, with a dorsal stripe and zebra stripes on the legs characteristics of the breed. Their conformation traits include a short head with a relatively short neck, compact body, short legs, and sound feet. The hukul bears some resemblance to the now extinct tarpan. The hukul horse were said to have originated in the Carpathian mountain range of Eastern Europe covered by present-day Ukraine, Poland, Slovakia, and Romania, it is named after the small sub-ethic Ukrainian group of Hutzels. However, the horse breed is much older than the Hutzel people. The Hukuls are probably depicted on the monuments erected by Roman emperors Domitian and Trajan as Dacian draft horses. The breed was mentioned for the first time in written resources around 400 years ago as the Mountain Tarpan. Unlike the Polish Knik, the Hukul has been only rarely crossbred with domestic horses. Over the centuries, the Hukul horse were used for plowing fields, hauling timber, and transporting goods and people across the rugged terrain. During World War II, the Hukul horse was even used by the Soviet Army as pack animals in the Carpathian Mountains, which caused a severe decline in the number of Hukul horses in Czechoslovakia. After the end of the war, only 300 Hukul horses remained there. Even though a stud book was established in 1924 in the Huseli after Polish cavalry officer Michael Hollander encouraged it, it was not until the early 1970s that breeders established an organization, Hukul Club, to prevent the extinction there was caused by the declining number. In 1982, they established a stud book with 50 purebred animals and the goal of increasing the numbers in that region. In 2004, Polish Horse Breeders Association was recognized by the European Union as keepers of the stud book of origin of the breed. Thanks to the efforts of breeders, the world population of these horses now exceeds a few thousand. Most of them live in Western Europe. In Poland in 2019, there were 1,446 mares and 167 stallions registered in the stud book of origin of Hukul breed. There are also breeding studs in Slovakia, Romania, Czech Republic, and Ukraine. Many ponies in Europe also have Hukul blood. In recent years, the popularity of this breed has spread as far as England. In Venistia Oblast of Ukraine, a Hokel stud farm was established by Genity Romanenko in 2016. Over the years, people have made various efforts to protect and preserve this breed, which is considered an important part of the cultural heritage of the region. These efforts have been successful in preserving the Hukul horse and ensuring its continued survival. However, there is still much work to be done to ensure that the breed remains healthy and sustainable for future generations. The Hukul horse may not be as well known as some other breeds, but it is a true gem of Eastern Europe. With its strength, intelligence, and beauty, it is a beloved part of the local culture and a symbol of the resilience and resourcefulness of the people who call this rugged landscape home.